We're gonna show you today something that's real popular on tour, a lot of guys doing it. Uh, a lot of people don't know what it's all about. We're gonna tell you about long lining today. We're gonna try to find a couple areas, take that crankbait, sling it out there, get it down deep, see exactly how deep we can get it, see if we can't catch a fish. And once you get where you wanna be and get your lineups, you're gonna make you a big long cast, and then you're gonna leave your, your bail open, cut your trolling motor on high, and just get to going. You know, there's two reasons that you want a long line of crankbait. One is you're gonna get you're gonna get deeper, achieve a depth deeper than you could ever get on just a conventional cast. That's number one. Number two is that you can cover a large, large amount of water. So what you can do is you can, you know, there might be a, a real long point that, that it would take you 20 conventional casts to cover. You can throw that crankbait out, take your trolling motor like we're doing here, put it on high get the buzzing across there, go all the way across the entire point, and then you can just make one cast and cover that whole entire point. Uh, it can ho help you find a sweet spot a little bit quicker, uh, and, and like we said, get a crankbait deeper than you've ever been able to get one before. Now we got to where we're going. Once you start reeling, it's real important to, to keep your trolling motor on the, on the edge or on the ledge or on the spot that you want to. I don't, I don't like to continue to keep going because then you get off track and you might just get off, of, uh, off the place you actually are trying to fish. So I like to slow the speed down and only use it basically to kind of keep me, keep me in line with where, where I wanted to hit. I like to just have a steady retrieve and you'll, you'll feel it. Uh, believe it or not, it'll be a mile out there, but you can feel every little wiggle when you're using the you know, Sunline FC Sniper 12 pounds, what I really like. Uh, it's extremely sensitive. You just get that steady retrieve until you feel it hit the bottom. Once you feel it hit the bottom, I really like to try to uh, use my rod to be able to feel exactly what that bait's doing down there. Make little short, little short drags, if you will. I don't ever want to drag the rod all the way around because if a fish hits me while I'm in that position, I'm not going to get a real good hookup. I want to keep that rod in front of me in a good hook set position but you can feel a little bit better if you drag that rod. And then once you get your, your bait all the way back up, you can turn around and go the opposite direction. And, uh, and sometimes you can trigger a strike that you would not have gotten if you just tried it the one direction. So uh, it's always good to go back in that same direction that you just went. So you know, long lining, it's kind of tough. Do you long line or don't you long line? It's, it's a big investment of time because it takes so long to get a cast set up Make sure on your, you're on the right line, throw it out there, thumb all that line off and start your retrieve because you might end up just hanging your bait immediately as soon as it hits the bottom. But it also lets that bait get in front of fish that have never seen a deep diving crankbait before and you can cover a lot of water. So it's something you're just gonna have to experiment with to see if you wanna incorporate it into your fishing. 